It's that time when we check in with our Hollywood hotshot, the one, the only, Justin Sylvester. Come on, Justin, the E! News host is in L.A. He's got all the celebrity scoop for us. All right, shall we get started? Yes. Wait, there's... A, a, so you guys, we should get started. I, I gotta tell you, this scoop today is international. We are going across the pond. We are. Okay, well, first, let's start with a, with a major A-lister, a Brit, who is, uh -huh. who is now single. All right, you guys, we are hearing reports from multiple sources coming from anonymous sources that Harry Styles and his girlfriend, Taylor Russell, have broken up after almost a year of dating. Now, we don't know the details. We don't know anything, but we did reach out to Harry's people. But I have to say, dating a rock star can be easy, and dating as a rock star has to be hard. So we don't know what happened between these cu this couple. I'm sure we'll figure it out over the next year. But you guys have to look at, like, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift or Beyonce and Jay-Z. You don't get that level of privacy that you used to get back in the day. Do you guys know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We do know what you mean. That's true. Let, let's move on. Yeah. To I want to know I want to about the Cannes yeah, Film Festival. Yeah, please, tell because us more. We saw Kevin Costner get a great standing Huge. O. But what else is hitting there? I mean, the ladies of Cannes are killing it as well. And Hoda, like you said, the standing ovation is the most important thing in Cannes. And let me break this down for you guys. When a movie premieres at Cannes, it's the first time anybody is ever seeing it. So the reception is really important to see how it's going to do in the States. Now, Emma Stone got six-minute standing ovation. Mm -hmm. Selena Gomez then got 11 minutes, and she had the longest-running standing O of all time. Then Demi Moore came through and on her first time premiering at the Cannes Film Festival, got a 13 minute wow. standing what? ovation. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have tendinitis just thinking about it, okay? What's, what's the movie? What's her, yeah, what's her film? Okay, so the film is called The Substance. It's kind of Death Becomes Her meets The Fly, well, where Demi Moore's character takes a potion and turns into a younger version of herself, played by Mar Margaret Qualley. Oh, wow. Now, this film is supposed to be crazy, it's supposed to be dark, and it's supposed to set off the demi sons that we have been waiting for. I mean, this woman is killing it. Mm -hmm. And the fashion, you guys, have you seen what she's been wearing there? Yeah, she's Gorgeous. been killing it. Yes. Look, I know I'm not supposed to say a woman's age. My grandmother is going to kill me. But at 61 years old, if this isn't mm -hmm. prime time, I don't know what is. Yeah, she looks exactly. phenomenal. Um, okay, so talk to us about Tom Hanks. Is his texts are going viral. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, I know this happens to you, too. Do your parents or your aunts ever hit you up on the weekends or on the weekdays and say, oh, I heard such and such is going through <laughs> something, and they want you to give you the details of what's happening in pop culture? Yeah. Does yes. that happen to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tom Hanks did it to his son, Chet, about the Kendrick and Drake feud. <laughs> now, get this. Tom Hanks hit up Chet and asked him what's going on with this Kendrick and Drake feud. Like every kid in America, when we text our parents back, we give them details, we have receipts, we have timelines. Chet <laughs> basically wrote a dissertation for Tom Hanks, pie graphs and all, okay? After three pages of what was going on, Tom Hanks goes, oh my God, so people are taking sides? Who's winning? <laughs> And Chet said, did you not just read what I said? Haven't you been frustrated with your parents that they don't get something that you're trying to break down to them? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, well, uh, <laughs> thank you, Justin. That was great. We love you. And you guys can catch Justin weeknights at 11 on our sister network, E. All right.